I was discussing with this uh, friend of mine who, who I who also work with, and he said to me, I was I finishing doing Rolling Stones, producing a Rolling Stones documentary, and um, you know, I've done a few producing documentary gigs, and he said, would you like to do, produce uh, a James Brown documentary? And I said, um, sounds like, I don't know, I'm, it sounds great, but let me just think about it overnight. And I woke up in the morning, and I called him and I said, why don't we do a James Brown feature? We talked about, you know, trying to revive the, the project. And I was, you know, I was in a very good position, luckily, because I was able to get all the music right. So that had been one of the big sticking points before, because the James Brown rights were all over the place. And, and now they were, they were all in one place, and I was able to get those rights from this friend of mine. So. It was, a, you know, it was a long process, and um, in the end, Universal signed off on the deal, and Brian and I partnered up, and that's how the movie got started. In this movie, I think we managed to we we cover um, a lot of periods in his life. We 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 don't we don't really, you know, we don't concentrate just on a couple of years or one year or something. So we we do quite a cover quite a lot of his childhood, his youth, uh, you know, his adolescence, uh, his, you know, how he gets to be you know, a rising kind of gospel stroke R&B artist, and then goes out on his own. We cover all these moments, you know, and his triumphal moments and so on. And we cover his, you know, actually near the beginning of the movie, we see him uh, you know, later on in life when he's not like, number one person anymore, but he's still doing it, you know. So, you know, we do cover a lot of, of, his, of his life. He had some of the charisma, I felt, that, that James had, and he, he could project that on the screen. And, um, and you know, he got good, really good acting chops, because a lot of, there's a lot of people that can, you know, it, of course, you've got to be able to make it believable that James, you're James Brown. You can sing, you can dance, you can do the splits, you know. Um, and um, but you know, there's this. This movie is not only about the musical performances. It, it's, it, it's quite a lot of subtleties and in, in, in the acting, and uh, yeah. And so, so it needed someone with good, really good acting chops too. And I think that Chad, you know, was was an excellent, fantastic choice. And he, and not only that, he really. He worked. He really, really worked hard at the things that he felt he needed to do to become this part. My children all know about James Brown, but my grandchildren didn't really know about it. And but they kind of enthused when they see this, you know, because it's a it's a film, you know, a, which has emotional pull and and a narrative, and and so it doesn't really matter if you've never heard of James Brown or not.